Hi there and assalamu alaikum. In today's tutorial, we're going to attempt to do some image correction to a black and white image. So let's open an image. Now there are three images here of some really handsome people, but uh, I'm going to pick the one that's in the worst condition. So let's pick the rectangular marquee tool and drag to select the image on the left and then go to image and then crop to get rid of the images we don't want in this tutorial. Now, if we zoom in, you can see that it's a very low res image, perhaps taken from an ancient camera. So let's first add some pixels to it. Although it won't make much of a difference, but let's try it still. So let's just go to image and then image size. And on the pop-up menu, we just need to change the resolution to 300 pixels and you'll find that the size of the image will inflate automatically. Also ensure that the resample option is set to preserve details 2.0. And uh, I'm also going to reduce the noise to about 34% and hit OK. We can clearly see that the image is not straight. So first of all, we need to straighten it. So let's grab the crop tool and uh, click on the straighten option on top. Now you see the slant on top. Since we need to make it straight, we'll draw a line from one corner of the image to the other and Photoshop will do the rest and then hit OK. Now I'm going to crop the image further to get rid of unnecessary parts around the side using the crop tool. The first thing I'm going to do is make Photoshop do the auto adjustments since it's a very old image and hardly has shadows or highlights. It's like one flat tone. So I'm not going to give it fake shadows or highlights. My purpose is just to fix this image and kind of undamage it using basic tools. So let's go to image and click on auto tone, auto contrast and auto color one by one. Now I'm going to grab the spot healing brush tool and paint on the areas that have scars. The rest of the job shall be accomplished using my favorite clone stamp tool. What this tool does is it copies a sample when you hold option on a Mac or Alt on a PC and click at a particular portion of the image and then wherever you click it pastes the sample it copied and hence the name clone stamp. Now for this portion of the hair, I'm going to grab the lasso tool and make a selection of the hair on the left. And once the selection is made, I'm going to copy the selection by pressing Command C on a Mac or Control C on a PC and then paste it on top using Command V on a Mac and Control V on a PC. Then using the flip horizontal tool on the right, I'm going to flip the copy and place it on top of the damaged hair. Then I'm going to go to the layers panel on the right and unlock my background layer by clicking on the lock icon next to it. And then using shift and left click, I'm going to select both my layers and then right click and select merge layers. Now I'll grab the clone stamp tool once again and do some finishing touches to the hair patch I just pasted. Alright, I think apart from slightly changing the hairstyle, we've been able to keep the rest pretty much intact. Uh, I think the right ear is hardly visible and for some reason it was like this in the original image as well. So we can use lasso tool once again and copy the left ear and patch it up to the right one. 
and do necessary adjustments like we did with the hair. So this is the image before correction and this is the one after correction. We could also colorize this image but I'll keep that for a different day. So what do you guys think? Do let me know in the comments. Okay so this is where we part and I hope there was some takeaway for you from this video so I'm gonna see you in the next one pretty soon. Until then goodbye and thank you for watching.